Retool tutorial for beginners, how to use Retool. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Retool. Retool is an online platform that allows you to build amazing softwares without having to learn to code by simply connecting a couple of components and data sources together. It's especially great if you're trying to build something for your internal business use and it is amazing for everyone, even if you are a full stack developer or a beginner. Retool is allowing everyone from a basic entrepreneur to enterprises to start with their tool. So let's get started with Retool. Plus they have self-hosting, cloud running, custom SSO, audit logs, and much more with their application. So click on get started on the top right to get started with Retool. Now you can sign up with your work email or you can also proceed with Google. This just depends on your personal preference. I'm just going to sign on to Retool over here. Once you do that, you're going to enter your full name like so, and you're going to add the name of your organization. So for my organization, it's Meraki A and I'm going to click on continue over here. Once you do that, you're going to add how familiar you are with programming. So let's say we're not familiar and I know what I want to build and you're going to explain what you're looking to build. So I want to build a simple inventory management system for my uh, online store and a employee task manager. And I'm just going to click on continue over here. And once I have done that, I can proceed with the next step. So as you guys can see, you can get started with templates. You have approval flow. We have dashboard templates and we can choose whichever one uh, fits us the best. So I want to first use a user management template like this one. And you guys can see this is really easy to create. On the left, you have a menu bar. In this menu bar, you can add components and modules. Modules are reusable groups of components and queries that you have gathered together. And let's say, you know, this particular table is a module, so I can just copy this module into multiple spaces. We have things like text inputs, number inputs, and selection inputs as well, as well as data-driven items. Then you have your component tree, your code, your code search, the state, as well as history and your app settings. Now, within this application, on the top, you will see we have this user manager and then we have this tab. And below that, we have a latest and a widget grid as well. So from here, what I'm going to do is I have this navigation and in my table, I'm going to click on connect data and I'm going to create a database for my users. So I want to build a retool database and this is going to have these particular items. So IDs, emails, enabled name roles, and I can just click on save and run. Currently, obviously, I didn't add any um, you know, data, but you can add data over here. You also have the retool AI where you can generate text. So you can uh, write text or use uh, brackets to reference text. So I want to, let's say, create a data set for um, a particular number of users. And if you don't know how to code, you can just go on to a third party application and just input or write the code for you. You will see that they have, you know, a lot of sample code written in. So when you are, you know, creating these simple roles, even if you're someone that's not familiar with code, I can just ask ChatGPT to write code for my internal apps employee database, create 10 sample employee like this and this is going to write a python script so i can use that over here as well now moving on you will see that with these applications you have multiple different use cases and you can see that if you are using a template it's going to be longer to customize but if you're familiar with coding you can just create your own code and add that over here initially that definitely is going to be less time consuming 
than having to manually enter data into this data set. But I'm going to remove that and I'm going to again add another table over here. And in this table, uh, I have, you know, some sample data, we have columns, and I'll just click on connect data, I can link this to a Google sheet as well. So we can add a Google sheet, which is going to just serve as a easier, you know, data entry or a retool database, but that just depends on your settings, how you want to structure everything. And after you have set your data up, you can proceed with the rest of your setup with your retool app. So I might want to also create a rating system for my employees, let's say, or I want to also include um, inventory right at the bottom. So I can click on add table and I can add a different table for that. You can also include things like image grids as well as visual indicators for your application. And you even have the AI builder where you can build AI powered applications. If you are looking to, you know, get started with more so of a pre-existing template. Now, the best part about using about using retool as your as your internal management system or internal app building system is that it is available for free you can create unlimited web and mobile apps you have 500 workflow runs a month and five gigabytes of data storage with upwards of five users then you have the team version starting at ten dollars per month and if you have a end user only that's going to be five dollars per end user where you have 5,000 workflow runs, staging environments, app release versions, and you can include more than five users. Then after that, you have the business version where it starts at $50 a month for every standard user. And if you only have end users, those are going to be $15 per end user. We have rich permission controls, audit logging, unlimited environments, unlimited modules, and more. So all these features make Retool a pretty worthwhile application. If you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and i will try to make videos on those as well so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video